Hi viewers, welcome to Blood Test. The main motto of our Blood Test channel is to encourage a lot of you to start your own laboratory or establish your own laboratory or diagnostic center. One of the important things in establishing your own center is investing in the right machines. So today is going to be something related to that topic related to instruments or machines. What are the four important points you have to note or see while choosing the right machine for your laboratory? These are the four tips. Kindly see this video till the end so that you don't miss any important point. I have said a lot of points in this. Make sure you speak to your instrument provider or the dealer or the vendor, all these things before buying the machine. Now let's go into the topic. Coming to the first point is the annual maintenance. Some companies or some, you know, instrument providers, usually they provide AMC and warranty for one year. But you can also demand for two years of AMC and warranty. This is most important because, you know, these are all running missions. They run on a daily basis and they need service, you know, very frequently. Some missions need in three months. Some missions need once in six months. So when there is an AMC, they provide only for, you know, one year. What happens is only two times a service engineer would be coming and looking into your mission. That is not enough. So make sure you demand for at least two years of AMC and warranty for the machine because, you know, these machines, the laboratory machines, they are all very good machines and they can last you in the same condition for five years only if it is maintained properly. So make sure the AMC uh, you put uh, in the beginning itself, it is free of cost with the machine for two years. After that, there will be an AMC of, you know, 50,000 to 60,000 rupees per machine. The next thing is the consumables. So investment in the machine is one thing. The second thing is running it on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. For that, we need to know what is the cost of the consumables. Consumables include the reagents, the liquids, you know, which is needed for the running of the machines like the diluent, the washer, the cleaner solutions. Along with it, there are other materials also like the cuvettes, which are included in the consumables. Some machines, you know, cost 5 lakh rupees and some machines cost 8 lakh rupees. The consumables for some machines is 90,000. The set of the consumables is 90,000 for certain machines and for some it is just 10,000. You have to see which is best for your laboratory and you have to select it very wisely. The machine cost usually for a CBC machine is around 3 lakhs to 4 lakhs for a three part. Some companies have, you know, the consumable cost up to 90,000 rupees and some have about 10,000 rupees. Make sure you know what is a consumable cost right at the beginning of investment only so that on a monthly basis while buying the consumables, it is not a great shock to you. The third thing is the wear and tear of the machine. Any instrument, any electronic instrument or equipment it you take, it will have its own wear and tear. On a daily running of the machine, there will be some parts which needs to get replaced on a continuous run. For example, if you take the fully automated biochemistry, there is a light source and the light bulb, you know, has to be replaced once in three months or six months according to usage of your laboratory or how many tests you run in your laboratory. If you're going to run around 20 tests per day in a fully automated biochemistry machine, you need to change this bulb maybe in around six months and Certain machines have the bulb cost alone for 20,000 rupees. Some give it in a package. Some um, machine companies give it in a package for three bulbs for a cost of same 18,000 to 20,000 rupees. So these costs are usually hidden. They don't come in the AMC and they don't come in the monthly consumables also. Make sure you speak to your vendor or dealer or from whom you're buying from the salesperson. What are the other costs which I need to bear, you know, during the service of the machine? And make sure nothing is hidden from you and you're prepared to face such challenges in your laboratory. The fourth one is the running cost. In a medium-sized laboratory, you have options for choosing 
the same kind of technology but with various brand you have to know the working cost the running cost of each sample the running cost usually includes the electricity the amount you have to pay for the technician the consumables everything comes into the running cost you have to speak to your uh, company provider what would be the running cost and what would be included what are you saying that running cost and what is included in that running cost some might you know if uh, you are going to run 10 tests per day in a cbc machine the running cost may be 20 rupees per test if you are going to run 10 tests in another machine it is going to be 35 rupees for the same technology again here you have to make a wise decision speak to lot of vendors dealers service providers sales person to know which machine is going to best suit for your laboratory in accordance to your investment plan and what amount you have reserved for the running of the laboratory for the next 6 to 1 year thank you i think i have been a uh, clear about uh, certain things which you have to see while involving yourself in buying an instrument for your own laboratory if you need any guidance or help you can definitely contact us through email at pathlabstartup@gmail.com even our phone number is displayed below for which you can whatsapp your queries if you like our videos kindly click on the bell icon or subscribe our channel please wait for more videos regarding the instruments and other technologies involved in the latest laboratory medicine see you tomorrow with another video bye bye signing off dr lalita sendal